Hello everyone, welcome back to another custom, I guess. Uh, welcome back to the show, sorry for my absence. Yeah, so here we have uh, Roronoa Zoro from One Piece. Uh, the... I'll remember the name of that line, just a sec. <clears throat> sorry for my voice, by the way. But, uh... Yeah, so the something action heroes, I forgot what, variable action heroes, line by um, Max Factory, I think. No, no, that's Figma, right? Well, no, I'm, you know what? It doesn't matter. The variable action heroes line Zoro. Yeah. So, uh, I cannot change stuff here, so, uh, this is another Sasuke incident, this was a bootleg, <laughs> this I think it was, because it broke a lot, like, elbows broke, and, um, the original shirt part, like, he didn't wear on here it was like a skirt piece and it broke too. Um yeah, but other than that it's fine. It's a really good figure. Good shading, good everything. Is one of the best figures that I have. Actually one of the biggest figures that I have. This line is really big and uh, I mean I don't have any twelve inch figures, so yeah. It's slightly bigger than the figures that I usually collect, like, well, SH figures, which is around 6 inch mark, um, or like 5 and a half inch. Um, yeah, so what I basically did here is, um, well, I made his belt, bandana, and his coat thing. Which um, I don't think is finished because I'm missing the buttons, like you know. Um, yeah, so uh, that's about it. See you guys uh, next time. Which is what I would say if I finished the video, but I did not. So uh, let's get more into what I did here. So. Uh, so here is Zoro to the rare bones of his. So you can see more in the frame. Um, yeah, so you can see this like underpants that I did just because it had a really ugly gap and because I made this, the gap might have been seen. So I put there like made underpants like things for him. So, uh, what I did with him after he broke, I was like, I completely, well, at first I tried to leave on that skirt piece with the coat and the original belt and the scabbards. But, that didn't work very well. Any type of glue that I tried to use fell apart almost instantaneously. But, uh, the elbows, which also broke, uh, well, one is still bad, and still movable, so that's good. But this one is completely fixed to place because, I'm sorry for the lenting, but simply because, uh, I glued it because it broke on both sides. But this only broke on the bottom side, so, uh... Yeah. Well, but it's still very like still very good. Like even with this fixed into place, it can still like hold the swords, you know. And uh yeah. Yeah. So um 
let's go into what I made out of fabric, I guess, because that's everything else I made. And that's all I did here. That's all that broke, luckily enough. Um, yeah, but do a fair warning. The shoulders, they pop off a lot. And uh, that's not just with the bootleg thing that's also with the real one so uh if you do buy a variable action hero zoro do uh beware of that so uh buyer beware so uh let's go to the belt first because that's uh quite a lot of things that i did with the belt so uh be back in a sec. Alright, so here is the belt with the scabbards and uh, the swords. Yeah, so uh, basically what I did here, the swords were all just, you know, all the scabbards were the same one piece, uh, not pun not intended, but uh, yeah, let me just take them out of the belt, sorry, because I'm holding the phone with one hand, because again, my uh, camera is not usable at the moment. Uh, what did I say again? Yeah, um, so here are the scabbards, let's see what I actually did with them. So they were all like glued together. Let's take this one out, it's just for, uh, because you don't really need to explain with this. So, um, you see, like, there's a circle here. I filled it in with the uh, hot glue. Uh, that's a hole that went through all of the swords and they were like all glued together, like one on top of the other. And, uh, yeah was a thing and um, what basically I did is I put hot glue to uh, cover up the hole and make it flush with the entire scabbard surface and then I uh, painted it so it would wouldn't look so much out of place and uh, I can see that in camera it does look with a lot of differences between what I painted you can see this is a little glossier and lighter than this brown but uh not in a camera like in real life it looks more of the same color less differences uh can't really say the same about uh, shusugi right here oh, focus damn it all right so you can see it's a much darker blue what I painted here and I couldn't like replicate the strings in the area where like the string isn't present uh, but yeah but uh, this like this was the simplest just fill in fill in the hole and uh, color it in white and uh, it's well, you can see it on camera, but you really can't know the difference between the colors, except like this one is a little more, well, a little less smooth. So, yeah, and you know, the swords are still intact. Uh, what I did her about the like actual product, not the bootleg that I have. Uh, the swords break often, so uh, I lucked out because mine are fully intact. And uh, the belt here is just like very, very simple. Uh, so there's like this knot that exists, and you can see here, like, there are three holes that correlate with the scabbards uh, for uh, 
swords. Also, what I'm trying to make is, uh, well, if you read One Piece currently, then you would know of the existence of the Nidai Kitetsu, which this is the Sandai Kitetsu. So, uh, took a piece of uh, wood and uh, basically cut it to shape and uh, sort of uh, sanded it so it would be like sharp but not really and you can see here I made some mistakes it's uh, has a thinner part here for uh, no real reason except I made a mistake when cutting so yeah, I will make like a hilt like this. I really don't know what's that part called. And, you know, like in katanas, they have different names. Like, well, I forgot them, so doesn't matter because I wouldn't be able to say them either way. Um, yeah, so I would try again pun not intended but I would try to uh, make the handle and uh, like a piece like this so yeah okay uh, but that's not really more for Zoro it's more like for Luffy even though Luffy can't hold anything because he doesn't have a holding hand but uh, yeah I also have a Luffy, if you didn't understand from the sentence here. Uh, yeah, so let's go to the bandana because it's here and it's the simplest thing ever. Just like a piece of black fabric folded and sewed onto each other so it will be like thick, you know. And uh, the simplicity tie to is a uh, and so uh, to biceps so there is really nothing to I me mean, it's not like I will tie it on his head because his head already has the bandana yeah so yeah and uh, well I really don't know how to sew uh, well at all I just like improvised every single time I saw anything of sewn anything I mean sorry for that but um, yeah so I tried to like make a template and uh, do it like I really tried to replicate like this god damn it I really tried to replicate this thing uh, like how it's drawn and uh, you know what I just realized now uh, well, that what I did isn't completely accurate because the colors are uh, much brighter than they're supposed to be but uh, it still fits so yay me um, I did try to like see online how they make like things like kimonos and uh japanese uh, old outfits because they don't wear them usually anymore they wear modern clothes like everyone does because everyone had their own distinctive clothes uh, like in every country so uh i tried I don't know if I succeeded correctly, but this looks good enough when it's on him and you can also like make it that he's wearing it as a skirt like the toy had originally. But um, yeah, that's uh, really all about that. Like I can go for what I did here. So this is pr probably right for everything that you try to sew like if not just this but like every single shirt even 
like one to one scale life scale so uh, what you want to do is make a template or you know the sizes take it the sizes and cut it to the shape and size that it needs to be and always add a little more because then it would not fit and when you do so things in you can see I made I made a little bit of mistakes here like this one you can very much see the needs you know the seams and on the inside you can see it less well this is this this was my, my mistake because when you sew things you should sew them inside out so uh like this it should look like outside but not like this my mistake was i first sewn this turn it outside and then i'm added the sleeves which was my mistake as you can see so uh that was bad um but yeah that's really it with this um uh, zoro has a really weird body type because it's like thin but gets wide after a whole wide how i mean his torso is too long i want to say like that's very unproportional Kind of like the newer Spider-Man Marvel Legend figures, uh, you know, like the Pizza Spider-Man. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's about it, all, all I wanted to say. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, <clears throat> Zoro. Uh, yeah, that's about it. As you can see, it's still, like, very poseable, and the fabric is completely of no endurance, so, uh, that's always great. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, he looks cool as hell. Yeah. It looks cool as fuck. And, um, yeah. One of my absolute favorite characters and action figures that I have. So, uh, yeah. That is about it. I will definitely see you guys later on. So long.